All right, it's time. Welcome everyone to Channel 72. This is Turn Dog with another Turn Dog flips here, running uh, Stellar Wars today. As you can see from the uh, from that getting ready uh, bar there, it's, that's what we've got today. So let's just flip over and show you what we got. Like I said, this is Stellar Wars, second in our Wide Bodies month this month, made by. Williams in 1979 and more fun facts this was actually designed by Steve Ritchie who uh, you may know for designing the firepower F-14 Tomcat and Black Knight sort of rage pins that I streamed before and that might be uh, a testament to what makes this particular pin so addictive compared to say the Space Invaders we had two weeks ago which seemed to chug along and take forever to get through. Anyhow, let's uh, give this guy a look and see what makes it stand out. Or not, we'll see. <laughs> we've got our usually got our, you know, flippers, slingshots. We've got double in lanes on both sides. We've got single bumpers here and here. Uh, a, a drop target bank here, a stand-up target here. We've got a, uh, we've got a hole, a kicker hole right there, a captive ball, with a stand-up target in the back all the way up there. A uh, bumper bank here, another drop target bank right there, a spinner, a in lanes right there, a bunch of lanes off the plunger. We have another drop target bank there, and a spinner here. So, that's, uh, that's our layout for you. And let's take a look at our uh, rules today. Insert coin and wait for machine to reset. All right, press credit button to set up one to four players, okay? All right, S-T-E-L-L-A-R and W-A-R-S and lanes one through four light the bonus multiplier, okay? So, Stellar, you can see, let's see. Let's see, I'm looking for, there's an S for Stellar somewhere on this map, on this, on this pin here. All right, so there's an S right there. It seems to be pointing to the drop target bank, or it might be pointing to the bumper. I'm not entirely sure, but... It's pointing that way. And then there's the T, which is either pointing to the drop target bank or that hole right there. I'm, I'm not 100% on that either. I think the S points to these and the T points to those. And then we got the ELLA -E targets right there. And the R right over there to spell Stellar. And let's see, uh, Wars is spelt with the inlane. So W-A-R-S, we have that going on. And then lanes one through four, that is these four lanes right up here. So each one of those lanes you light will advance the bonus multiplier, which looks like it goes up to 5x. It might even go higher. All right, and let's see what else. We have center four targets advance the kicker value to extra ball and specials. So let's see, the kicker value, that would be, I believe, here. That's my, uh, that's my hypothesis, and uh, hopefully that is correct. But that involves the center four targets, which are ELLA once again. And we have, let's take a look here. Uh, the left three drop targets advance the upper pop buffer values. So if you clear these three drop targets, then these get worth more points. Let's see, uh, right three drop targets, first time down, lights the captive ball. So you hit, you hit these three times, you hit the, all these once, and that lights this up. So it says 10,000 win lit and advance the letter. So you might be able to score an unlit letter that way. Then let's see. Uh, second time lights the lower pop buffers. So then I guess these get worth more points. The third time spinning target. So the spinners will light. And you can see they have uh, 1,000 win lit on them. And let's see. The fourth is the bullseye special. So I guess we'll have to find out what the heck that is. Oh, that must be this. It, it blinks and says special when lit, so that must be the special right there. All right, next up, captive ball when lit scores 10,000 points and the next letter. Yep, I just said that. Tilt penalty when the ball in the play does not disqualify a player, but yeah, it just kills you. So this does have a tilt sensor on it, and if you nudge too hard, it will kill your ball and your bonus. <laughs> the special scores one credit, so... That's all. The special isn't getting you any points or anything. It just gives you a credit. All right. Well, let's uh, let's take a look here. Um, I apologize for the for any drops or uh, frame or loss of frames, but uh, it seems that uh, the the connection still isn't quite 100% there. But 
We'll be playing through them. Let's get started here with Stellar Wars. There we go. This is actually a very addictive wide body pin, especially one from the late 70s. It plays very well. Stuck up in the bumpers. Yeah, that's another fun factor of some of the older pins is those slingshots having a really uh, really sharp angle to them which kicks the ball in an upwards position rather than between the two slingshots. Oh, that was close. There we go, we got the we, we, we got the, the drop targets in the front there. So alright. And we got to clear the, the left drop targets. It looks like we have Stellar fully spelled out, so I guess whatever the heck. I'm not entirely sure how you get the S and the T. Maybe they both pertain to the drop targets. Who knows? Can I get that? Uh, can I get that? Oh, probably not. I'm not that good. But I'll just keep clearing that bank. Whoa, that was pair. That was close. Oh no! And there goes ball one of game one. All right. Yeah. Just a word of warning, if you do a full plunge on this, it will just completely skip those lane, those top lanes and just take you straight into the play field, so... It, you definitely have to pay attention to your plunge strength on this one. Alright, we're doing pretty well on hitting those middle targets. There we go! Now we're talking. Okay, we're in business. Let's see if we can get those. Nope. I was trying to get the drop targets on the left, on the right there, but no dice. All right, got more of the lanes up there. No! <laughs> Those bumpers really add some extra chaos right down there, and yep, lead to some outline sinks. All right, let's see if we can get ourselves. Nope. Oh yeah, there we go. Another uh, another upper lane that I didn't have before. Calm down. There we go. There we go. We got those middle targets again. That's good. That's not good. <laughs> again, there goes our first game. After, yeah, only a couple minutes, we got our first game in. So let's keep going, shall we? All right. We got our lane. Okay. Let's see if we can hit these far uh, left drop targets. All right, I got one of them. Okay, I got the T. All right, so the T is the, the, the top target. Either the top target or maybe the first target you hit. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to play this a little more to get a full grasp. Hey, I got that, I got that hole even though I wasn't even aiming for it. All right. Okay, I couldn't tell how the S was gotten, but how the S was awarded, but. Let it be known that I have the T and the S now. All right. Oh, that was a tricky one. You need some careful nudging to get that. And uh, right now I'm pretty close to the table, so nudging will hurt me a little bit. Oh, hey, okay. We got a ball two here. Nope. Hey, look at that. Okay, some more multipliers, good. Or at least getting towards multiplier is good. Oh, the captive ball is lit. Let's see if we can hit the captive ball. Nope. I'll have to learn how to hit that one because it will be nice to it will be nice to shoot for that. Hey, look at that! We got some backhanded for a cool 10,000 points, and it's still lit. Ball kind of hugged the mylar on that one. Ah! <laughs> Down it goes. All right, we're on ball three here. Oh, see, I punch it too hard, and that's what happens. Oh, that was that was close. Oh, nowhere. 
that target. Let's see, we got one more target to shoot. There we go. We've got the middle targets again, and that doesn't matter. <laughs> Away it goes. All right. Let's keep playing. That's why we're here. Well, that's why I'm here. I guess you're watching because, I don't know, you want to see me play pinball. And do stuff like that. Come on! Calm down. Don't, don't, don't drain like that. All right. Nope, 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 no draining. There we go, that's better. All right, let's see if we can get, oh, come on, give me the E, give me the E. There we go. All right. All right, we've got the, uh, we've, all right, we've got the E and stuff. Okay, so the S is the lower target and the T is the upper target. That makes sense now. Oh boy. Alright, let's see where else we can go. Well, we can shoot for the R again and do some lighting on that. Oh, it's going to be tough to get the uh, the A and the R for uh, to complete Stellar Wars. Okay. My uh, one of my buddies, one of my buddies in tournaments. He says he's found a strategy of just kind of boosting multiplier by hitting the uh, the, the front targets over and over again. So maybe that'll maybe that'll be a strategy to try sometime. All right, there we go. Some bonus. Oh, come on, give me the third! Oh, almost. Almost up there. Alright. Middle targets, middle targets. Middle targets would be nice. Oh, boy. Alright, calm down. There we go, we got all the middle targets. And more importantly, we have control again. Well, that confirms exactly uh, how, uh, that confirms my suspicions about how the uh, S&T work. Oh, that went nowhere. And it probably was really bad. Okay, it was okay. Not the worst, but I don't want that to happen consistently. Okay, good. We needed that, we needed that W. Okay, there we go. We've got to transfer over. Okay, there's the S. Oh, I hope that didn't kill me. Good. That did. That was a bad move. Oh, that was the game again. No, well, so far it's been pretty fast games, but I have a lot of fun on this one. Ah, oh, too hard again. I want to actually like spell out Stellar Wars one of these days and actually see uh, what it has, what happens when you do that. I want to get the full spelling. Okay, now we're talk. Of course. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Ah, oh, too hard again! Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I need to be light and delicate here. Oh, come back down. Alright. Alright, there we go, we're good. Come on, give me the give me the E. Oh, well, I'll take that too. Because being able to spell one, two, three, four would be nice. There we go. That's good. Oh, 
Thing is that every ball you have, every ball resets your progress on the targets. Oh, I bet I could have nudged it so it actually got into the one, but that is game again. Wow. Yeah, I know. Now it seems kind of kind of crappy that they're going so fast, but. This really is a pretty solid and really fun wide body. Yeah. I'm actually really afraid of uh, nudging it because because uh, this this game has been used in tournaments and uh, people have tilted on games they could have won. Let's get that A. There we go. We got the E. Oh boy, calm down. Ah, I don't like I don't like being in this combination. Okay. Oh, nice. Calm down. Calm down. I'm trying to be fancy here. Well, it paid off. Well, we'll see how well it pays off. Once the ball gets back, it's all right. Ah, so the R is only that middle drop target, but clearing the bank, clearing the bank does uh, some other good stuff. Now I see. I'm gonna lose the ball before I spell Stellar Wars. I'm only one letter away, but yep. <laughs> Calling my intuition. That was a nice bonus. Oh, of course! I immediately get the ladder I was missing. The, the entire last ball. What? 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 Dirty rotten luck, huh? Ah! <laughs> Will I get another junk ball right after this one, too? Only one way to find out. We got our ass, and that's it. <laughs> Those bounces, I tell you. Yep, it was just that one first ball that just proved amazing. But that's what happens sometimes. Come on. Got more. All right, let's see if we can get that E and L right away. Both of them, perfect. All right, let's get over and get those right targets. Oh! Let's try again. Nope, nope. I'm aiming too low. Oh, I thought I had it that time. Nope! Down it goes. Look at all those numbers we got, except we still have to get the one. There we go, we got our T. Yep, we gotta clear that middle bank. Oh, it's a little too late on that one. There we go. Oh. There we go, excellent. 
Oh, good nudge, good nudge. Nope, not that time. <laughs> Saved it once, couldn't do it a second time. Nice! Got, got the four. Oh, and that, re that allows me to relight the lanes. Nice. Get those four, four lanes again. Four drop targets. It'd be nice to get the four lanes again too, but that's not as easy to get consistent as it is the drop targets. Alright. Alright. Oh, that spin! Down it goes again. Great. Gotta keep up. Gotta keep up. Keep doing this. I want to spell out Stellar Wars at least once tonight. I want to say good start because it's nice that I got that R spelled right away. But I'm not so lucky. What a spin. Oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. Oh, I landed right in the four again. Oh, nice sweep! No! Oh, not quite. audience doing tonight? Played any good pins lately? Do I even have an audience? Oh, come on! The oh, perfect bounce right over the flippers. Yes, I know, I could probably save myself a lot with some better, like, nudging technique, but little do you know, I am a bad player. But hey, we got up there. And we got one right back down. That's pretty cool, huh? I get that too, but that's the It's always gonna be the one. There's always gonna be the one missing that I will not be able to get. <laughs> Don't you love it when you like see uh when you see like a ball ricochet from the opposite side of the play field and you can clearly tell that it's gonna drain? That's exactly what happened right there. Well great. Apparently I can get it into that, uh, the one lane pretty consistent. Well, not consistent! Oh my gosh. That was pathetic. I couldn't even complete my thought before I just drained the ball on account of stupidity. And that was just plain dumb. I feel like the game is mocking me with these little, like, these little, like, sounds it's making right now. Well, I'll take it. I'll take the multiplier. It's all the, it's all the game will give me. Here we go. Oh, come on! All right, that's good. That's good. We've got some good developments, but not many. Not many. 
Well, at least we recovered a little bit in the last game, but last ball, but that doesn't really uh, cut it sometimes, right? It's not quite enough. Wow, I'm amazed that none of the uh, Channel 72 staff are here today. Normally, they always come out for pinball night. Looks like I'm just soloing it for now. I saw that uh, I saw that Pitt put Luigi's Mansion back on the schedule, so it's possible that we'll finally get that Luigi's Mansion stream happening soon. That'll be fun. Hopefully he hopefully it'll be the uh, ah! hopefully it'll be the collab with him and Blink going at it. All right. Ah, oh, too hard. Eh. <laughs> That this is this is what you come to see. This is what you come to see, guys. All right. Nope. Nope. Let's just forget that game existed, okay, and just move on. That game never happened, guys. Not once. And it's gonna come right back down. Oh no! Why did it bounce like that? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be just riding straight down, but nope. Now it's just. Now this game is uh, bearing its fangs for sure. It was just trying to play nice earlier, huh? Now it's time to put me in, put me in my place. There we go. Okay. Oh. Gotta get that last uh, target. There we go. There we go. We got all those targets. Get some points. There we go. Get some multiplier. Whoa, calm down, game. Calm down, game. All right. Well, oh, come on, give me that team. That was awful. <laughs> I do kind of like that targeting reticle that lights up when you uh, make certain levels of progress, though. Although, to be fair, it kind of is just on anyway. Well, maybe I was wrong about that thing about the targeting reticle, so. I'll take that back. After all, I am an amateur. Whoa! There we go, that looks good. There we go, that's good. No, I didn't get it far enough. Calm down, calm down. There we go, we got those. Whoa! Nice! Alright, so all we have left is that darn R to get, and then we have Stellar Wars fully spelled out. And then what happens then? I don't know. We'll drain the ball before we find out. That was a good start. Well, good second ball. Starting with the S. Go straight for the uh, the middle targets. And then drain the ball! We don't actually need balls. We don't need to play this game. But we're on ball three. Oh, that really was ball one, the one that I had a good run on. So, yes. 
ball, head, ball gets stuck and I have to nudge it just to lose. What kind of madness and sorcery is this? Wow. That's okay if you don't want to watch me play pinball, I understand. I guess it's not all that exciting, huh? Just join one of the millions of other people watching some guy play Fortnite for the umpteenth time. That's infinitely more interesting, isn't it? Let's get this show on the road. I need to show people that I can play games. days where like my test run is like better than anything I do on stream. There we go. Give me the R. Give me the R. Good job. I gotta feel I gotta feel good about those. It's the little it's the little victories everyone. Boy it'd be nice to hit that bullseye target when it actually would light, but I can't light it. I'm not good enough. There we go. We've got stellar spell. Now we just need to hit that A. Might as well just aim for uh, aim for points. I'll take it. I'll take that. All right, bounce, 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 bounce. Thousand points every time I hit that hole. Oh. That'd be a nice treasure. That is a nice. That is a nice bonus. So nice. I'd love to hit it again. Whoa. so close to getting it. I just need to let that... I just need to figure out how to get it to hit that A once. Oh! Almost lost it. Okay, calm down. Yeah, another 10,000 points. No! Ah, down it goes. That was a good run, though. Pretty solid score. The top score is 552,000 points, though. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. All right. Where the heck are, where the heck are my friends at? And why aren't they playing? Thank you. 
Why aren't they watching? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the heck is going on, why people aren't tuning in today, but it's their own loss. Missing out on a really solid game. Man! I can't believe people wanted to tune in for Space Invaders. This is a way more boring pin than this. There we go. Let's get those targets. much there, but hey, we'll take it. Oh, careful there. There we go. Got the front targets again. Calm down. Right now, no one. Okay. Hey, that was pretty cool. But it's not really going to get me any closer to collecting that one, that's for sure. Alright. I still need the S and the A. I got the S. score, but I want to get better than that. I want to actually spell out Stellar Wars. There we go. There we go. That's a good start. Good. Nice. Oh, come on. It was almost there. I actually went. All right. That's going down the middle. Too. See how much I care. I actually care a lot. There we go, we got our targets again. Just gotta get that T there. Well, we gotta get a lot of stuff. Outlane is a good choice too, isn't it? Two hundred six thousand. All right, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good score there. We're still not at top score yet. We gotta get ourselves those middle targets some more. There we go. Come on! Don't do that. Oh my gosh, stop falling in the same lit lane. That's better. That's way better. Alright, calm down and give me the ball back. 
so I can shoot it out of control again. Oh, I should have just tried to tried to catch it. There we go. The R and Stellar, not the R and Wars. We already have that one. Ah, almost. Just gotta, just gotta finesse it. There we go. That's that. That's better. Not there, not that time. There we go. Let's get ourselves some, some more cool points. No! <laughs> that was scary. That was that was scary. We don't want to take those. Okay. I should just shoot for the uh, the middle until I can get a good bounce into the A. Probably gonna lose the ball. No! That's a good. That was a good ball, though. That was. I, I will not complain about that. Just double checking the mic. That's all. Always gotta be concerned about its levels. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, no! Come on, you follow up a great ball with one like that? What kind of trash is that? Man, it's busy today at the Garcade. A lot of, oh! Hey, Tagalane, when are you gonna show up? I guess you I guess you get to be the solo viewer of a stream. Pretty exciting, huh? It's almost personal, right? Not focusing properly. All right. We almost have the middle targets all set up here. Come on. Give me a more favorable ball. No, not like that. Come on. It's not gonna help. Nope, nope, that won't help either. That's, that's a bit better. Now, don't kill it on me. There we go. Get ourselves a bonus. Still have to get that R up there. Oh, that was... Yeah, let's just get that out of there. See if we can get better. There we go. Better position. No! <laughs> right when we get something going, it's just gone. Now you're working on sandwiches, huh? There, there's the two. We got the two. Probably not much else. Nope, 
No, no, we'll be able to play at least a little bit. Ah! Bad decisions, I hesitated. That's not right. Oh my gosh! And yeah, this is why, I guess that's one of the reasons why you shouldn't try to full plunge this. Even though I didn't full plunge it, and I didn't wind up there, somehow the ball still decided it was going to go that way. So, I guess overall I want to say to people, at, at, at least please try to aim for like a skill shot or you know, don't just blindly full plunge on a game. Take the time to learn it. Ah! Might have been, may have been successful if I didn't flip the right flipper. Probably, but we wouldn't have known. We got the we got the middle we got the middle bank again. All right, we got the R. We also got a W, and we got up in the top lane. Got the three. Oh, that was a bad move. I was hoping I would cradle, but I guess the uh, ball spin didn't uh, like that. So now we're back at square one. Okay. There we go. There we go. We got our targets. got that going. Got our ass. Nope. No T yet. Still a work in progress. Nope. Still no T. Oh. Oh my gosh, I can't hit that T. That's probably going to kill me. Is everybody? Is it because it's still Christmas week? Maybe. Maybe people just aren't around. Ah! Oh, this is. Oh man. This game's kicking my butt. I keep getting so freaking close. I get so darn close. And then I just can't reel it in. And then it just leads to like eons and eons of junk games. Alright, we got that, we got that. Nope. Calm down, calm down! That's better. Oh my gosh, that bounce. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's probably Halloween week, but it's just so weird that like, that like uh, the usual Channel 72 uh, staff that normally show up aren't here. Like, no sign of Lincoln, it sounds like he's at home. Okay, 
Nick almost never misses these. And uh, Echo usually likes to try to get there, but usually these are late for him. But at least he tries to see the start of it. Oh my gosh! That's, now oh, that's better. spelled again. Alright. No! Whoa! Oh my gosh. Now my heart's racing. Stellar Wars. Well, now what? Well, now I got Stellar Wars spell out. Now what do I do? I guess I just spell it again. Oh, I got the special. I got the outline specials, which I take immediately. Well, there you go. That was a solid game. Look at that. Two hundred sixty-five thousand points. I'll take it. And this is what everyone's missing out on. That's what everyone's missing out. Too. Everything was everything was going right. Well, until ball three. All right, we've got ourselves two of those targets. Let's get the other two. Just like that. Oh my! Don't do that! Now we gotta do it all over again. There's one, there's the W. That was some scary nudging, but it worked out. Alright. There we go! There's so many dangerous shots that you have to make. Hello, Peppers. What brings you here? There we go. Oh my gosh! 
Oh, that's game over already. All right, let's keep going. Come on, give me those, give me those center targets. I want those center targets. All right, two of them, three. Oh, almost died there. Oh. There we go, we got all the center targets, good. Let's start hitting, let's see if we can aim for the other targets. I'm starting to wonder if even hitting the Stellar Wars is actually worth it. I mean, I personally think it's worth it just because it's like, oh, something to shoot for. But maybe just clearing the different target banks is a good idea. Obviously hitting that is, that bank is not good. Pinball brings everyone here. These, that's one thing I hope I get to see every now and then is people will just browse and be like, huh, pinball tag. There's a pinball tag on Twitch? Of course there is. A bunch of a lot higher profile people than one measly guest streamer on channel 72. Especially when it drains out of uh, hoping to learn some rules in case. <laughs> Do you think you'll ever see a Stellar Wars in a league night? <laughs> I mean, that would be a pretty, I mean, you, I mean, you must have a pretty fun league if they're willing to play Stellar Wars and not, you know, every single one of the newest Sterns. I have not set a high score yet. The high, the, uh, the high score on this is, uh, hold on, I got a, I got a cradle. The high score on this is 552,000. My best score has been, uh, 360,000. Or 300 something thousand. Oh my god! Well, the uh, the rules on Stellar War seem to be pretty simple. Um, hitting some of the target banks causes certain things to happen, like uh, hitting all the middle target banks raises the value of the uh, of the kicker out on the on the upper left side. Well, uh, let's see. Hitting all the far left targets advance the bonus multiplier, or they advance the bonus. It might also advance the multiplier. I'm not entirely certain on the multiplier advancement yet. All right. Okay. So lighting, so lighting stellar and lighting wars and lighting lanes one through four, those all will advance your multiplier. Okay. So these just advance the bonus, but then uh, hitting the uh, the upper right drops. Does a certain number of things. They light various. They light various things that are very useful, but it's an incredibly dangerous shot to try to uh, shoot across for. Which I've uh, I've learned quite I mean, quite a few times that that just kills my ball. So I tend to try to get the middle ones right away, which seems to be a good start. Oh, I, that's how that's how sensitive the tilt bob is. Try to mix in old games. Out in Seattle, huh? Well, uh, welcome to this cozy little nook here in Wisconsin. I hope you enjoy looking out over in the Grand Midwest. Where I try to convince the local arcade operator that he should buy a local and get more spooky games.
That's because I have apparently still had the mic muted. Thanks, OBS. Now it should be all back. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, as I was saying when the mic was muted, I love, uh, Alice Cooper as well, but... I cannot convince... I cannot... I couldn't convince the owner to get one. He, he was actually really surprised when I told him I really liked it, that that was my favorite pin when I went to, uh, Midwest Gaming Classic. But... But, uh, on the flip side, he does have, uh... He, uh, did get a total nuclear annihilation, like, pretty much, like right when it came out, so he's been quite proud of that, except it's currently down for repairs, so I don't get to play it right now. But I did get to drain out the outland. I hope you appreciate that, at least. I also try to, uh, I also try to put a word into him to tell him to get a, a jersey jack. I don't care what kind. I just wanted to put a jersey jack into the Stern arcade. Oh my gosh! Alice Cooper co-op mode. Yeah, the co-op mode that Spooky adds is really cool. Uh, Total Nuclear Annihilation also does... Also, oh my gosh! Yeah, Total Nuclear Annihilation also had that co-op mode, and holy cow, it's just... It's so much fun being able to just like work together with someone to like see as far how far you could go in a game and I could imagine that being amazing on uh, Alice Cooper. See one thing I have to give props to Alice Cooper, I have to give mad props to this, is that like it's one of the it's like the first light since like band themed tables that I played that doesn't feel like a band table. It feels like an original table that just happens to have like a band's music on it. And I, I absolutely love the crap out of that. And the events and stuff. I just... Yeah, unfortunately, we just don't get Alice Cooper here, but... Oh my gosh! But the, uh... But the owner and operator here sure has a nice wide range of games from... 70s levels, from, uh... Early 70s or late 80s or late 60s electromechanicals all the way up to, you know... You know, a bunch of the newest stuff. Like, uh, he got a Jurassic Park right when it came out. He got a Black Knight Sword of Rage right when it came out. He got a Total Nuclear Annihilation right when it came out. You know, all that jazz. The arcade's now like, the arcade now has like a Stern sponsorship, so they have the whole Stern Army merch and stuff like that for their tournaments and things. Pretty solid. Back to the game. Oh my god. <laughs> only have room for two, your wife says. Well, I only have room for two. I mean, I technically could have room for more, but that would mean sacrificing my uh, basement entertainment center, and I don't want to do that. So, uh, unfortunately, money trouble is what prevents us from getting a second pin, so... Otherwise, I would have bought an Alice Cooper. Because that game is so much fun. But... My wife and I uh, make, make do plenty with our hobbits. Uh, that makes me quite happy. Alright. Alright, let's, uh, let's focus on the game now. I still haven't gotten the S or the T. So I wind up getting the one target that doesn't qualify as either letter. I also haven't gotten the R yet, and that scares the crap out of me. Oh! Oh my gosh! You gotta hit that. You gotta hit those targets. Whoa! Well, there you go. I got the R. The R and Stellar, specifically. Oh, you got Hobbit and Lord of the Rings? Nice. 
Yeah, those will last you, like, a really freaking long time. You're probably a lot better at The Hobbit than I am, though. Oh! <laughs> and it just slips right down. Captain Ball is lit for 10,000 points, but it's really hard to hit the Captain Ball. Oh my gosh, I do not want to hit that, but I do want to go for the T. Oh! So, spelling out Stellar, spelling out Wars, and uh, hitting all four of the upper in lanes will uh, raise your bonus multiplier. So, oh! That's what, that's what going for that does for you. Yeah, that's the game right there. Both of those are deep games. Yes, they are. It's amazing how uh, it's amazing how polarizing Hobbit is. I mean, I can see some of the reasons why, but uh, I have to say, I absolutely love the crap out of it. And it's great. I've had it for uh, oh my gosh, I've had it for almost two years now, and I still haven't seen everything on it. My best score on it is like about 3.8 million, but I like almost never get there anymore. I usually like just, I, I, I usually wind up just breaking a million or getting to like 1.9. But, uh, as far as like seeing stuff on it, I've been able to get to, uh, ah! I've been able to get to, uh, I've been able to beat into the fire. I've been and I've gotten to Barrel Escape and uh, Battle of Five Armies a lot, but I've never killed Smaug and I've never seen there and back again, so I still have a long way to go. <laughs> I've gotten to the point where you have to deliver the killing blow to Smaug, but I've never actually killed him. Oh <laughs> It's almost like one of the, it's almost like one of the, one of the more difficult pinball shots I've ever experienced is trying to kill Smaug. Not as hard as getting a hole in one and no good gophers though, that's a different story though. Or is it? Is it as hard? Is it less hard? I don't know. I'm just going to say, I've gotten a hole in one and no good gophers, I've never killed Smaug, so there. Take that. Oh my gosh, bad bounce! Yeah, if you guys are wondering why I'm not nudging very often, it's because the tilt bob is super sensitive on this right now. I don't want to kill my ball. Okay, calm down. Calm down. You got to everything, but there and back again. That won't happen. I mean, you could cheese it, but that, that well, there's no fun in doing that. You could cheese it by just starting all of the modes, but that's no fun. There we go. All right, so we just gotta hit the L to spell Stellar and then get some bonus multiplier going. Or we could just keep hitting the uh, hitting the other targets to score some points. Oh, nice! There we go. We got some more multiplier through that. There we go. 
Now, now the kicker is worth 10,000 points if I can sink it. And that's a consistent lit shot, too. So if I can keep aiming for the... Uh, if I can keep hitting, aiming for the kicker hole, then that, uh, you know, that's just straight up 10,000 points each time. But, man, my right flipper is not feeling too good right now. So I've just been shooting for the uh, those middle targets, but I think I need to shoot for a different targets to really score some points. There we go. I need to get I need to get both R's. Oh, not quite. Well, that's one of the R's, so that gives us a nice nice bonus multiplier. Oh, not quite. No way you can play every every mode and have it one game. <laughs> So yeah, a lot of this is like, a lot of the main things you're trying to shoot for involve like building up your multiplier. But, like I said, if you can clear the uh, the upper right drop targets a bunch, that'll light a whole bunch of other things. Including like, uh, I think it lights the pop up first, it lights the spinners, yeah. Okay, the left drop targets increase the pop bumpers. And the right drop targets, they'll light the captive ball, the lower bumpers, the spinners, and then finally the uh, the one stand-up target for a special. But yeah, good luck on that. That's a dangerous bank to hit for. I'd say it's just about as dangerous as the uh, the front middle ones, maybe more so, because at least the front middle ones are uh, angled to the left. And that's game over. Two hundred thousand points. That's still pretty good on this game. go. Let's see if we can get that. There we go. We completed that bank and now we've got, see now we have the uh, the captain balls lit for 10,000 points, but it's really hard to hit the captain ball. Almost all of my successful captain ball shots have been off of a, uh, have been off a backhand bounce. Like I got like a, like a well-timed backhand off of the, uh, off of the left flipper to actually hit the captain ball. So, not easy. But maybe aiming for that upper right uh, drop bank will be uh, a good strategy. Oh no! There we go, just gotta nudge it out of the way. Okay. Ball two. Alright. Oh, not so good there. Be nice to actually spell out. Uh, be nice to actually clear the drop target bank enough to light the spinners. Because that would be that'd be a pretty solid. Uh, Pretty solid shot to aim for if you like the spinners. Oh man, all but the four. Because imagine, imagine that shot with with the spinner leg. That would be great. That'd be a great payoff. But that's dangerous. It's dangerous just trying to set up for that. Someone scored the air raid in Gold Wings. <laughs> All right. I really do want to see if I can uh, nail that upper right drop target bank a little bit. Oh good, I can backhand it. That, that helps a ton, actually. Oh! <laughs> that 
Come on! <laughs> I'll take that, I'll take that. We take those. Whoa! Don't do that. Don't do that kind of bounce. That scares me. Okay, I might have to hit across to get that one. Or, or a lucky bounce. Alright, so the second time we'll light the lower pop bumpers. Okay, the lower pop bumpers are lit now. I do not even know how much the lower the, the, the lower pops like are worth now. All right, now I got the spinners lit. So the so now the spinners will score a thousand points per spin. But now I just gotta start sinking that shot because that that'd be worth some good points. There we go, I got, oh, down it goes. We got 10,000 points for hitting the uh, captain ball. <laughs> well, that was pretty nice. I got to light the spinners, but I didn't get to shoot them. <laughs> Every time I have a good ball, it gives me a junk one. What is this? It'd be really cool if, uh, now, now the owner here, he's not too fond of, like, these big wide bodies. I mean, I can partly see why with his Space Invaders, but this Stellar Wars is, uh, really, really fun. I wonder, uh, what he'd think of having an Embryon. That would be an interesting one to have. Oh! <laughs> Or I could straight up tell him, like, hey, I know a wide body you should get. A Jersey Jack. See, now I really do want to gun for that, uh, the upper right drops, because if I can find a way to safely hit those consistently, you know, that, that, that opens up a whole bunch of shots. But there are a whole bunch of other, like, significantly safer shots that also help me out a lot, so who knows? That got me 5,000 points right now. I got the T there. So if I can get the S, that can that can give me some uh, multiplier. There we go. We got the S, so... Now in order to spell wars, we just need the A and the R. Well, spelling wars is not very easy since we have to hit all the uh, all the flipper inlays for that. So that's when we just focus on shooting around the uh, the main part, and try to try to get other things. There we go. Oh, ho, ho. bounce right out of the multiplier. Oh, I saw that coming. Oh, and that was game over. Yeah, that 552,000 was looking really distant. But you never know, maybe he'll have a miracle game at some point. I doubt it on this one, but... I mean, I did get a record on firepower. So, anything's possible. Oh, 
Okay, calm down there. Down we go. Oh! <laughs> that bounce. Yeah, those 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 lane dividers down by the flippers, they just it, it, they just feel like funnels to the out lanes. Well, I got the uh, I got the R out of that drop bank, so that's the important. That's the most important one. Been nice to get a few more letters out of that, but uh, or a few more targets out of that. <laughs> Winds up missing every single one, huh? Careful there. All right, We've got some multiplier. That's good. Nope. Ugh. Shucks. That's looking good. Okay. Let's see if we can get some more of those ladders again. There we go. Got the middle we got the middle drops. There we go. Nice! Got some multiplier out of it. And our captain ball is lit for 10,000. Let's see if we can uh, boost that, uh, that that sink, that uh, the kicker hole there. That kicker hole there. There we go. Almost there. All right, so now the kicker hole is worth. Now the kicker hole is worth ten thousand as well. Now that now we're talking. All right, so we got the bump. The bottom bumpers are lit. Go another ten thousand points. Let's hit that target. Whoa, that was that was scary. Well, looks like we got a couple of those uh, bumpers up there lit too, so that's gonna be a few extra points. Too early. Need to time the shot for that uh for that hole. Oh that should have hit. That should have hit. There we go. Now the spinners are lit again. So now we got a lot of shots lit up. Alright, look at that. Thousand points per spin. I'll take it. Alright. Now it looks like we got some more top bumpers lit for points. Oh, ho, ho, there it goes. Look at that, 326,000. That looks like uh, that looks like it's gonna be hovering around my best for the night, but we still got a half hour left to try this out, so. So maybe something good will come out of this. But that was a good run. You got to see uh, got to see a solid chunk of uh, of the stuff on the table and how to do it, or not how to do it, but what it looks like. Oh, the, don't, don't, don't slip towards the one target that I already got. We 
almost got the middle targets done. There we go, middle targets are done. Oh, that was scary. Nice! I got War spelled out. I just need to hit the T and I can spell Stellar as well. Oh, come on! Oh, <laughs> straight! Straight down the outlane. Now I gotta go and uh, try it all again. Yep, every ball just resets all your, uh, all your, uh, all your progress essentially. target up there is going to be hard to hit. <laughs> and then you got a bad bounce like that. And that's the game. And normally when I play on the tournaments in here, I'll just be happy to get 100,000 on this bit, on this game. the middle targets uh, hit twice. No! You gotta find a way to hit those targets without draining the ball. Or maybe it just won't happen and that's just too unsafe a shot. Which is also, that's probably what the real situation is behind those. ourselves a multiplier. Oh, there we go. We got spe we got stellar spell. Oh, very good. Okay. Kicker hole worth some points. Whoa, almost lost it. There we go, we got Stellar and War Spell, so we got some more multiplier on top of that. Save it. Couldn't save it. That was a good run, though. That was a good run. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. 
me every single time. I get a good ball, and it's not on ball three. And then once that drains, the next one just straight up drains off of the plunge. I don't get it. Oh, <laughs> the spin! Just spun out of grasp. Oh, he almost got into the four. Could have gotten some early multiplier. There we go. There we go. Oh, calm down, calm down. I said calm down, why'd you roll off the flipper? Well, at least we got some multiplier there. I was about to say right before we died, but we didn't die yet. But don't worry, we'll die soon enough. Oh, left sling's going a little crazy here. That was a bad bounce. Should have just worked for it. But sometimes you wish you could play more conservatively and it doesn't always work out. Oh, I went too hard. Plunged too hard, missed the uh, missed the end lane there. Oh, come on. I managed to just thread the needle. There we go. Got the S and the T, so I just need the R to spell stellar. Oh, I got that target. Got every oh, got every drop target except for the R in that thing. All right, let's see if we can shoot for that. Nope, I still didn't get the R. Back down we go. More targets, more targets. There we go, nice, we got the R. Okay. Oh, I thought I thought for sure that was it. But I guess my aim is still off. My aim is still off. That's better. Okay. Oh, come on. Gotta get that R. Let's see if we can shoot the T at least. Nope. We'll take the 5,000. Nope. Still can't aim for that R, no matter what I do. Alright. Nope. Nothing there. Some more points. There we go, now the kicker is worth some points. And it got the R, we got the R. We just need to hit the T and get ourselves some uh, multiplier. But good luck on that. Hey, we got it. Oh, 
Okay, that's good, that's good. All right. So those bumpers up there must be worth some points now. Here we go. We got some more drop kicks. Perfect! And we got Stellar and War Spell. Perfect. There we go, now we're talking. See if we can get ourselves some more points up here. Nope, never mind. Boy, was I glad I waited on that one. Can we get that four? No, we can't get the four yet. So far, so good, but this could end at any moment. Oh, very careful. Very close. Very close to losing the ball. There we go! Got a 4x multiplier. That's pretty good, especially when we just drain the ball! Yeah, this is definitely my best game on the stream. Definitely my best game of the night, right there. <laughs> what is that? Every time! Every single time! I get a good game, and then that happened. Okay, someone got 575,000 points and didn't report it. What nonsense is this? So I guess I can't be comfortable until I beat that specifically. If I can beat that. That's what happens when you try to get that point, get to that point. I still think there's a trick to uh, that bank, but will it lead to points? I don't know. But I feel like I should actually like try gunning for it. Random flip, randomly flipping actually works great, doesn't it? See, I can hit that captive ball off of a uh, backhand like that, but like no other way. The right flipper just doesn't have enough oomph in it to do it. Keep going. <laughs> of course, that's exactly what it does. This, this strategy is biting me in the butt. This really must not be the strategy to go for, so I should just go for the letters. In general. Oh! Oh no. There we go. It's not fully jammed yet. You get a clean shot, you get a clean hit on that drop target, and it'll just drain it straight down the middle. So I should really stop aiming for those. I should 
you just go back to uh, aiming for letters in general. Because that seems to be doing me a lot better. But I do have to aim for those letter that letter at some point. Oh, I already got it. Never mind. No! Oh! Ah! Uh. Well, now I have to aim for it again, so I might as well try to get it over with. score. They're all like one ball wonders. OBS crashed again. What is going on? I don't, I don't get it. Why is this happening so much? Okay, it's still looking good. It's still running okay, so I'm not going to bother tinkering with everything, but I don't get what's going on. I don't understand why OBS keeps crashing. I run it fine for hours on my other computer, but then when I run the pinball stream, it seems to have a random chance of crashing now. People are still watching everything because that was that was frustrating. That it keeps doing that. so much. They used to never do this. Ah! And, yeah, don't give me those silly, cutesy joking sounds. Yeah, I know you're making fun of me for drinking.
Gosh darn it. Oh, even better, my bit rate is down to zero, so it's just doing nothing but dropping all the frames. No, still haven't hit a high score. But boy, is this uh, is this connection falling apart fast. I, I probably won't get a high score on this one. This one's tough to get a high score on. Or, well, to be fair, you don't get a high score. You just get the top score. And that doesn't seem feasible for me. I don't know if it's the laptop, but OBS keeps crashing, and overall the internet connection keeps like dropping frames like crazy. Gotta get back to lighting, lighting the letters. Let me light the letters, please. Please! Here we go. No! Will you please quit doing that? I know we can sink that. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, yeah, yeah, this game is starting to bother me when it does when it does nonsense like that and I'm just like I can't I can't make a game happen on that I can't make a game work I'm also really uncomfortable that the last thing anyone said is that my computer's having problems and no one's bothered to tell me that it's running again so well, please someone tell me that the stream is still going or let me know like as far as I know, it's up right now, but I don't know, because no one's telling me anything. Well, I guess I'm just going to keep on uh, praying that uh, this is still being broadcast and that people uh, can see it happening. See, that totally hit the target. There we go, we got Stellar again. It's been a while. No! Straight down the middle. Okay, good. No, no one was telling me that my stream was back up after OBS crashed. get something going. See if I can break a hundred thousand or get a two hundred thousand point game before the day is over. Because I'm not going to get close to getting a high score, but... 
if I can at least prove that I can still at least uh, put up a score of some sort, then I'll be okay with it. Alright. No! Get those targets. Let me hit those targets. No! There we go. Okay, okay. Okay. We're in a decent position. It's not amazing, but at least it's all right. At least it's an okay spot. Oh, come on, get up there. No, don't spin like that. Why'd you do that? It was heading towards the flipper and then it suddenly spun straight down the middle. Something tells me the surface isn't 100% level. Probably has dimples all around the lights. And those are throwing off my game. I had at least two nice scores, but not within the past, like, half hour. At least at this rate, not since like 8:40 or so, yeah, 8:40. All right. Uh, fortunate. You got stellar spell though, so that's good. No, that was a bad flip. Okay, I'll take it. No! You gotta be kidding me. I make one shot to the upper right targets, and it just says, okay, you're gonna do that, I'm gonna kill your ball. There we go. Oh, come on. Broke a hundred thousand, but that's about all I can do. This will probably be the last game of the night, so... Well, at this rate, it won't be. Alright. You gotta be... You've got to be kidding me. This is just beyond frustrating now. Like, I can't get anything going anymore.
crying out loud. All right. Because that was such a terrible game, we'll get to have one more run. This will probably be the final game of the night. So let's cross our fingers and pray that it's a good one. Okay. All right. Got those. Got some more center targets. Some more center targets. Okay. There we go, we got all the center targets once. All right, we got the team. that though. Okay, let's see if we can get the T. Or not the T, but the S. Okay, we got the S. So now all we need is the R, which is in my opinion, way too dangerous. But we'll have to get it some some point. Alright. The bumpers up top are charged up. Let's see if we can hit that. Nope, but I'll take that. There we go, we got Stellar War spell. Alright, so we got we got some more multiplier. And those bumpers are probably worth some good points. That's got some 10,000. Ah! Oh, and I catch it poorly. But we at least have a good uh, we at least have a good ball one, okay? So that's <laughs> it's a good way to end it. Yeah, just watch because I was on ball one. These two balls will go straight, like will kill me. Oh, well, at least it let me play the game a little bit before deciding it was going to kill my second ball. So that was very nice of the game. We're doing, we're doing okay. Oh, that's going down! Alright, last ball. Oh man, I can't get in the one or the four at all. That almost, that almost was it. But, we're not out of the woods yet either. Oh, come on! That was barely even a nudge. Well, that was the final game of the night. I hope, uh, I hope the like one or two people who decided to sit through and watch this uh, had a good time. And, well, hopefully we'll get some better turnout next time we play. Uh, next month it'll be Monsters Premium. And also, please remember to tune in and check out the uh, finale of my N64 Arcade tomorrow at noon. And it looks like Pibs got Luigi's Mansion queued up for January 2nd. Hopefully it'll stick this time. Once again, uh, for uh, the one or two of you watching, thanks for tuning in to Channel 72. This is Turn Dog with Turn Dog Flips, and uh, I hope you guys had yourself a wonderful Christmas, and uh, I wish you guys a happy new year.